day nine of Advent at Lalande, which is a day I've been looking forward to for ages because tonight Jared is going to put together our nativity scene. It is made with little Santons de Provence. That just means little saints from Provence and it's the way that they're made in the south of France. Instead of just showing the Holy Family in the stable, they put an entire French village around it with all of the villagers that you would expect to have, with the butcher, the baker, the people wandering through the village. And it's incredibly charming. It was the way that my grandmother always made her nativity scene. So it was incredibly touching when two years ago we were gifted a beautiful stables with all of the Holy Family and the wise men. And I just caught the bug. So last year we went to the manufacturers in Aix-en-Provence and got a few more houses. Bit by bit, I'm building up the set just as my grandmother did and Jared is going to make it into a beautiful little village for us now. But first, many of you have asked to see the advent calendar being opened. I haven't been filming the others as they open the gifts except for Michael whom I filmed. Mark and Amy did film themselves opening it. So do keep an eye out on their channel, The Great Chateau Restoration Project, because they will be opening one of the days with Clemant and it was adorable. But today's my turn so you can come with me to open today's gift. It is a reverse advent calendar, so in order to get a gift out, we have to put one in for charity, and I have a pair of my trousers that are going to go in, and there we are, right in front of me. Ah, it's the attic bedroom. Now we can't open the gift without looking at the terrible joke chosen by Philip. I think I looked up terrible Christmas cracker jokes. Brilliant. What do you call someone who couldn't stop thinking about past Christmases? Sentimental. Oh no, I like that one. Oh, that's so annoying. I really like that one for that. <laughs> I forgot about the answers that I get, get to experience it all over again. What have we got here? Oh yes. Oh yes. I couldn't have asked for more. It's the Jammy Dodgers. I am so happy about that. Well, let's go through, see Jared and Pavlina in the winter salon. Philip? Yes, please. This is the moment that I have been looking forward to since last Christmas. <laughs> I love this nativity scene so much yeah. that the thought of seeing it go out again, plus I bought a couple of new pieces this year to yeah? add to it. Okay, cool. I can't think of anyone better to put it together. Oh, uh, this is my, you know what? This is like one of my favorite Christmas traditions. Yeah. Uh, when I, I remember like whenever I would be at my grandma's house and I'd be able to uh, put up the nativity. So for me too, it was my grandmother's house oh, always. Right. And she had this tight with the little tiny villagers. I'm gonna put a bunch of moss down just to create like a a base, I guess. So you're doing this much more seriously than I did last year. <laughs> we just sort of laid them out, but I like this. Yeah, and I'm protecting the table with some, uh, some cardboard because uh, we picked this today from the forest. I'm We're not... so lucky, aren't we, to have so many things like this in the forest it's amazing yeah, yeah i need my own forest someday <laughs> yes you do <laughs> people don't realize how useful they are yeah. never run out of moss <laughs> i love the way you've created like because of the moss the way it comes little hills yeah. and valleys yeah. you can't fool me jared that is not moss <laughs> it's a rock yeah in disguise as moss <laughs> the whole nativity being flat i can kind of put some people up on higher areas so good <laughs> so good You know, the mountainous areas of Jerusalem, very green, very large. Very, yes. Uh, <laughs> a lot of trees and moss. Clearly, <laughs> very that's, wet. That's exactly what he's going for. Yeah, damp conditions. Almost <laughs> a rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> well, also global warming, you know, maybe yeah, like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years ago. It was that's like exactly that. what it was like. Yeah. It's as though we're looking back in time with you, Jared. <laughs> So if you were doing this, how would you have done it? Um, just, you know, like sand, like a bucket of sand. I will <laughs> just pour it uh, on the table. <laughs> Stephanie, on your next trip to Egypt, can you please bring back a whole giant bucket of sand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to go, original. Definitely. Original to Jerusalem. <laughs> so You're definitely getting the look of terrain. <laughs> So I added some tree bark. <laughs> Will the table even take that? <laughs> oh, I think so. We're going to find out. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Your chapel is going to be part of the whole thing. Yeah. The chapel on the hill. Spectacular. And against Daddy's painting as well. Oh, yeah. It all this links it into it somehow. Yeah. Am I the only one who feels like singing away in a manger right now? <laughs> 
Yep, it's just me. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. The amazing thing about this is that Jared didn't make the chapel for our nativity scene. It's sheer chance that it's the right scale. Pavlina is on structural integrity. <laughs> Absolutely critical. Just like our chapel, that chapel needs work on its foundations. <laughs> it's actually looking a little bit like our local village, Crozon sur Vavre, oh, which yeah. has got um, a little hill with houses and the church on it. I think that's my favourite one because it's got the really cool... Provencal fabric curtain <laughs> at the door. I love that. So you're using the trees now that I bought last year. Yeah. It's weird because they just look as though they're part of your landscape. <laughs> That's our new building this year. So the idea is that each year I'm going to try and get one new building okay. and one or two new people. And each year when I choose something, I'm trying to choose it linked with something we've done at La Lente. Oh. So that's a pigeonier. Pigeon tower. And that was because of painting my tower up to the bedroom. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, nice. And we have a couple of new people. I bought this from saint Fouque in Aix-en-Provence, and they have been making these hand-painted and hand-modelled saint for generations. If you'd like to learn more about them, I went and visited them last year. I made a video about it, and I will link to that here. And each year they bring out a range of completely new characters, and this year it's the Vigneron Vigneron. It's the winemakers. And that was perfect because this is the year that we went to Burgundy and were involved in the wine festival there. And I was made a dame of the wines of Montaigne. So that's why I wanted to add these this year. It'll be a little memory. And my favourite new addition this year is the carpenter. So we can now represent Amory. Look, it's even got the little clamp, all the woodworking tools. He's holding a plane. Look, the clamp even works. There, we'll pop that there for him. So Amory is joining this year. You found it! Yes. We have been worrying because we suddenly realised there was a missing house. <laughs> You're a hero. You saved Christmas. Again? Yeah, you keep doing it, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> it's exhausting. It's hard to believe that you are going to find space for another house, <laughs> but you're doing it with the great love stories of the world. I think the chapel of Mary's really well. It's yeah. It, it's a, yeah, it's as though it was made for it. Yeah. And I can't believe that this is only the third year of us having this set. I know. Can you hear me, Jackie Collins, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not something you ever thought you'd say. <laughs> I think you've hidden but... Jackie Collins <laughs> successfully. <laughs> this is really nice. It's like being in a different area of France. Well, suddenly in the south. Right? It's a work of art, Jared. So can you talk me through your creation? Sure. Of course, we have the chapel on the hill, which on a hill you would have uh, a lot of wind. So we have the man being blown and his cloak is blowing. And if anyone watches the video that I made about the saint he is the most famous of them all. He was the first one that was modeled that showed movement like that. And then we have the village on the edge. And Amory. I see you've given him a little yeah. workshop. <laughs> and chickens. And chickens, yeah. Which in this house, it actually has a bunch of hay in the back. <laughs> There's so much detail in this set. There is everywhere. A nice couple walking for a stroll by the fountain. Yeah. A very elegant woman there by the fountain too. Yeah, this would be like the village centre. Yeah, this. quite a bourgeois part of town yeah. there. Lots of well-to-do people <laughs> around the fountain. There's an entire Provençal lavender field area. That was last year's specials, the whole lavender collectors. Have you seen Hook the Hedgehog? Where's Hook? <gasps> exactly where he is at Lalande, <laughs> always circling the chapel. Up on a slightly higher level, there's a man collecting firewood and Pavlina even made a little pile of firewood. It's great. These are the new ones for this year, collecting the grapes. Then we have the soap cellar. Is that her home over there? Yeah. That's her little shop. And I thought it was so sweet to have the artist actually in the front, just because uh, yeah. behind it it's you got have a vista. The and then, yes, the actual point of the entire crash, the nativity. <laughs> and three wise men wondering where on earth they've ended up. Little baby Jesus is not there yet because he's not born yet. He will go in on the night of Christmas Eve. Yep, my favourite part of Christmas at La Lande. You know it's going to be really hard to top this from now on. <laughs> Future years. We'll be like, no, but where did Jared put it? How was it? Jared will be here. Oh, uh, yeah, good. I like your positive thinking. We already been talking about it, so. Yes. 
I think we have to be more oh. careful than usual this year because there's quite a lot of combustible things on there. Yes. A win a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the night sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep in the hay. I love it, Jared. I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm.